What's up guys, welcome to Wrench Capital Charts. Today we're taking a look at NVIDIA stock, ticker symbol NVDA, on a variety of time frames in anticipation of the next trading day. Wednesday, April 3rd. Alright guys, NVIDIA stock here today down $9.11 per share, that's minus 1.01%. Let's pull out as much bias as we possibly can out of the market today from a variety of sources. And let's see what we can get here, because today was a, a very big macro day. We're going to talk about that. Daily chart's going to be particularly important. Let's get started here trying to pull out a little bit of intraday bias from the volume profile here on the 5-minute chart. By the way, listen, I obviously cover NVIDIA all the time, but I know that you guys have a lot of other stocks of interest. Let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions of uh, stocks you'd like me to cover. I will read all of the comments on all platforms. So let me know. I appreciate it. That feedback is tremendously helpful. Let's take a look here. The moves that I'm primarily interested in on NVIDIA here today are going to be that the aggressive nature of this upside pop and then kind of that second leg up and then quick fade that we got off of that $900 region. Let's take a peek here. Now, if we can see, if we start with that second move just to get it out of the way, there's nothing there, right? We have, you know, I would say equally biased pops in volume on both sides, at least nothing out of the ordinary there. Here on this move that we got earlier in the day, we got a very contextual open with really no obvious bias, but there is, you got, you know, five consecutive green bars that were a little out of context, broken up by a, the lowest bar of all, which was the red bar, and then a sixth green bar. Those were slightly out of context, which tells me that there was a slight bullish uh, bias that agree with that upside move that we got kind of mid to late morning. Aside from that, that's all we had on NVIDIA here today, but it's good information to know. Let's move on. Let's take a look at those psychological and self-fulfilling prophecy levels that I'm going to be paying very close attention to here come tomorrow, Wednesday. All right, guys. Now, specific to the 30-minute chart here, a couple of things happened today. We retested that 50-period moving average, that white line, and it failed. We rejected Okay, not only that, but the 50 period did cross below 900 bucks a share. Understand that out of the 30 minute, four hour, and daily, what I think is like uh, of is like the big three psychological charts that everybody looks at with the very obvious self fulfilling prophecy moving averages on that again, everyone's paying attention to, which is why they tend to uh, be relevant at all. The 30 minute is by far the most forgiving because things change the quickest on it. So the 50 period out of the 50 and 200 on this chart is also the most forgiving because it's the, the quickest one on this chart. So that currently sits at about 897.29, okay? And I'm going to be paying very close attention to that tomorrow. If I'm a bull, I want to see not only a reclaim of the 50 period and ideally 9 really, but I want to see that 50 period curl back upside and get back above 9, okay? Because we've been riding that for the last like, I would say, two days or so, maybe two and a half days before finally giving that up here today. Because if you're a bear, you obviously want to hold beneath the 50 period here on, on the 30 minute, which you did today, right? We tested that and we rejected hard, which is exactly what you guys would have wanted. The only way that that could have been a little bit better is a little bit more of an aggressive rejection on a little bit bigger volume, though the volume was really nothing to scoff at, okay? Now let's move on here to the four hour chart and take a look here on the four hour you can see that we that that 50 period has been very much so in play. We talked about that a lot on a Monday night's video heading into today, Tuesday. We didn't get a chance to test that here today. It currently sits up around 913.50. The stock, of course, at about 893. So we have about 20 points in between the stock price and the 50 period here on the four hour, which bulls we're going to want to reclaim as soon as possible, but understand you know, it's a $900 stock, so that 20 points is only 2.37-ish percent. So that's well within a single day potential of NVIDIA. Um, you know, that 50 period here on the 4 hour is not, is not a day-to-day -day lost cause at all. That could be reclaimed, you know, with, with some upside momentum in as easy as one day. But bears, for you guys, you know, that 50 period is still just ascending at a very slow but steady pace. If you're a bear, it's time for you guys to get that 50 period flattening out and curling downside to get down below 900 bucks as soon as you can. Understanding though that that may take some time, you know, here on the four hour chart. Now, the big story here on Nvidia stock. Let's take a look. Listen, guys, the daily is a really big deal right now. Okay, and what's going on on the daily? Right, everyone has their eye on this one thing. 
and it's 900 bucks. The last couple of days, really the last three days, it's been the battle of 900 bucks a share. And today, the Bears finally got beneath there after testing three days in a row and failing. The Bears finally pulled it off on day four. Okay. But again, on a macro level, like the psychological round number of $900, you're talking about a first day break. You guys know I'm a two to three trading day kind of guy for confirmation on big breaks and holds. So Bears, you guys got the break, but you've really yet to get the hold. Okay. You've had like a test. So Bears, you know, honestly, I know it's backtracking a little bit, but I would say your best case scenario tomorrow, at least if it were me, would be a hard retest of 900 bucks and a very high volume rejection. Then you guys can, can aggressively roll downhill, right? But I would prefer to see a retest of nine and really getting a hard rejection before anything else. Bulls, that is your, that's, that's what you wouldn't want to see, Okay. If you're a bull, a reclaim of nine on high volume and then a retest of the level, like moving upside through nine on high volume, retesting on low, low, low volume, a small sample size making that bet, and then bouncing hard away on high volume to the upside, that's your break and hold. Okay, that's the break with confirmation. That's what you would want if you're a bull here on NVIDIA. But listen, the battle of nine, it's not over. The stock's at 894.50, right? Implied volatility is still moving downside here, getting into the lower range. Understand again, the lower that goes, the more IV crush. Those of you who purchased options may be experiencing. Uh, the better conditions also become the lower that goes uh, for new options buyers to come in and, and purchase some new contracts. All right. Let's take a look here at the next expiration for expected move. The next expiration is Friday at the close. The expected move, the volatility expectation, right? No directional bias here, but we'll get there is plus or minus $27.41 per share. So again, you know, no earnings or anything between now and then, so we can reasonably divide that by three and gives us $9.14 approximately expectation of volatility per day. That's plus or minus. But again, that assumes a streak, a, a three-day green streak or a three-day red streak. So the more reasonable expectation is to see a mix, right? So I like to add about 50% to that, which gives us about $13.70 plus or minus per day is the market's volatility expectation out of NVIDIA. That's really, you know, given NVIDIA's recent volatility, that's really not all that much. So just understand that's what the market's expecting. And then you disagreeing with that, whether you think it's going to be more or less, comes into play when you position yourself with options because options are affected by, by realized volatility versus what the expected volatility, the implied volatility, was at the time of, of the purchase or sale of those options, right? So you can use that to your advantage. All right, now let's take a look at the options bias here today out of NVIDIA. 1.03 million total contracts traded here today, 586,000 calls, 442,000 puts. So we're seeing a slight call side bias on the overall ratio. And if we really focus in on those short-term bets being placed, the really far out of the money Shortest term expiration on average bets being placed by the short term speculators. We have 213,000 calls and 165,000 puts. So we're seeing a call side bias out of the short term speculators and the overall ratio. It's not overwhelming, but it's there. If you got value out of this video, I think you'll also get a lot of value and find, you know, you'll probably have some fun in our uh, free Discord server. It's absolutely free. You can join instantly, those of you on YouTube, using the link in the pinned comment. If you're on Instagram or TikTok, just click the link in the bio, uh, and that'll let you join instantly for free. That free server was just started in the last couple of months, um, so you know we're in need of some pioneers. But that server's going to be a good time, so come hang out. I appreciate you. Leave a like on the way out. Helps out tremendously, and I'll see you in the next one.